are some other topics that are really intriguing right now as we sit here in week 18 going around the NFL. One of them being a Michigan coach who could make his return to the NFL. And if Jim Harbaugh, as some rumors have kind of been pointed out there, maybe he might be interested in coming back to the NFL. If he were to return to the NFL, which team do you guys believe would be the best fit for him, anticipating teams that are going to be in need of a head coach? Well, let, let's get to the background first of this. Uh, Jim Harbaugh uh, has a very, very long memory. He does. And part of his, a big part of this reason that this is circulated, and I would not at all be surprised if he was the primary source to this speculation, Yeah, was he feels like Michigan did him wrong. Because uh, we knew this past year was the first time he had beaten Ohio State. And this is the first time the, 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 his record against top 10 teams was terrible. His record in bowl games was terrible, although he just lost in the Orange Bowl again. But regardless, uh, against the premium teams in college football, he did very poorly. And so Michigan this past offseason, surely they had a cash crunch because of COVID the year before. They put the screws to him and they squeezed him and they essentially forced him to take a pay cut. And, uh, and at that point, there wasn't exactly a huge market for Jim Harbaugh services, so he didn't have a lot of options he had his dream job. He loves Michigan. It's in his blood. Yeah. Um, so they kind of took advantage of the situation and got some cash back from him. I think now is the moment that he's getting payback. And uh, whether or not he has actual true aspirations to return to the NFL, I'm a little dubious about that. I think he is at the job he's going to retire at. This is just, I'm not informed. This is just speculation. Just knowing the dude, knowing how he operates and how important Michigan is to him. And how many people he rubbed the wrong way in the National Football League. It's it's different in the NFL. Like college coach, this is their Meyer situation. College coaches going to the NFL, they don't have their fiefdom like they do in college, right? They're not the end-all, be-all czar of football like they are in college. And if you act a certain way, there's going to be pushback in the NFL in a way that there isn't in college. So all that background being said, I think it's unlikely that he actually makes the jump to the NFL. But given the kind of, I mean, we're talk, we're trying to talk up, you know, Doug Peterson and Brian, o Bill O'Brien in this cycle as potential. Mm, we're not candidate. trying to talk up Bill O'Brien. Not me. No, nope, no, sir. Won't allow it. Well, Trent Balky is trying to talk up Bill O'Brien. Makes and sense. So, <laughs> and so that that should tell you about the depth and quality of what people view as this year's coaching class. If Harbaugh would thro truly throw his name into the ring, he would probably be the most, by far, the most coveted candidate. 44, 19, and 1 in the NFL. It's ridiculous. He was incredibly successful with the San Francisco 49ers. And I know, listen, he's a weirdo. There's, there's no denying that. You can see that clear as day. That's no slander on the man. You can see that clear as day in the way that he coaches. He's incredibly intense. He is a weird dude. Um, and I don't know how long that kind of not stick because I don't think it's a stick. I think it's real. I think he's just a, a nerd for, for, for lack of a better way to say things. He is an awkward kind of dude. And I don't know how long that can work in an NFL locker room. What I do know is that in San Francisco, he led a team to the Super Bowl and they were very, very successful before they hired the whiz kid to take his place. So for me, I, I see this going on in uh, Michigan, I, I saw that, you know, he has not been super successful in Michigan. He has not, like you said, Adam, been able to beat the big teams. I could see him trying to make that jump back up to the NFL level, but I think it would take a special situation. I don't think he would go there for Jacksonville. I don't think he would go there. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else, you know, maybe, maybe Las Vegas. Like it, I think it would have, I think it would be Asper. Like, I think it would have to be a, a signature franchise. I think it would have to be a place with good organization. Like I don't think he's going to Minnesota to freeze right. his for, to freeze his butt off. Even right. though that team has had success recently and isn't that far away, I don't believe from a roster construction standpoint. I see him going to, like you said, a big situation with a decent roster. And I think really the Las Vegas Raiders are the only name that really jump out to me when it comes to Jim Harbaugh. You, I can the see only, the Broncos putting their hat in the name for Harbaugh. If they do move on from Vic, I wonder if Denver, the city could, could bring him in because Denver, I mean, is a, a little bit of a weird place too. I, I love Denver myself. Um, and I could <laughs> see him kind of fitting in with the personalities in, in Denver. Kevin the, uh, Melter wants Vegas to be the destination. Yeah. I mean, 
the, the, the obvious tie, and I, it always comes back to the Dolphins because I, I live 22 miles from the facility here, but uh, Stephen Ross pays Jim Harbaugh. Let's not kid ourselves. I mean, basically, just, you know, <laughs> the routing number would, ha- would, would change from one bank account to another, uh, but he pays Jim Harbaugh because he is by far one of the biggest boosters to Michigan Athletics, the, the university in general. Um, we, we, we know for, you know, f- for 15 years, he's had a love affair with Jim Harbaugh. He torpedoed, uh, Tony Sperano's time in Miami by going behind his back and trying to, to lure him to Miami. So I think any list would have to include the dolphins if they decide to make a change. Honestly, it, it's a fascinating dynamic, uh, in Miami right now, because the idea is there's going to be continuity. Steve Ross doesn't want to be seen as the co- the guy that folks fire coaches every two or three years. Um, but things didn't go great there, particularly in the first part of the season. I wouldn't at all surprise me if there is a level of bureaucracy added on top of those two dudes, on top of Flores and Greer, that there's maybe a VP of football ops brought in or something like that to supervise because some of the decisions they've made have been catastrophically bad. Um, I don't know if Flores would be okay with that. That's the thing is he's a strong willed dude. So I, I don't think Steve Ross is approaching this off season. Like he's going to fire Brian Flores, but I think he's going to demand some changes. And if the people in charge of that, that company chafe at those changes, uh, maybe that could finally open the door to bringing Harbaugh here. And as I said, it would, he's, he's already on the payroll for, for Steve Ross. So it would just take a little bit of, you know, you know, accounting changes to, to have him <laughs> the Dolphins head coach. <laughs> I think Pickle Wizard brought up a good point with the Giants. Um, I think that the state of disarray in New York would probably keep Jim Harbaugh away from New York, but that would be a really nice place because I think you would get pretty good job security there uh, in New York. I just think that the situation there is so bad and has been so bad for so long now. It's going to take a while to rebuild that football. If Gettleman's gone, I feel like Harbaugh would maybe go there 